Welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. Today we're off to see Nout once again as she has some information on abandoned mansions throughout London. Let's see what she has. I've got a proper contract for you. I don't think I need to tell you that the housing in London's gone mental. Thousands of people living on the street while perfectly good houses doing nothing but providing cover to criminals hiding their loot from taxes. Go on then, old boy. Where's your evidence? Nothing that could put anyone behind bars. That's where you come in. Investigate some of these shell houses. Expose the tax fraud. Take the power back. You got this. Now, send me her findings. It may be worth seeing if there's anything to her claims. The data now has compiled is rather damning. Billions of pounds worth of London real estate is owned by companies registered in known tax havens, often owned by organized crime and paid for with illicit funds. Nobody lives in these homes and the government looks the other way. Not only does this keep the market hyperinflated, but it also takes dirty crime money and turns it into clean homeowner money. And that is why none of you will ever be able to own property in London. Bang on Bagley, thank you. Look at it this way. As long as you've got a device with internet access in your cardboard box, we can be flatmates. Anyway, if you want to play investigative journalist and do something, you can go to the bin I've put on your map. You found the spot. Located the CTOS hub. I really thought I was being really clever by landing away from the box and being able to walk through the door. And there's no way to open it. It is a permanently locked door for some reason. So instead of being really clever, we've got to fly back up and get inside that area. To then hack the CTOS box. Whenever you think you're being clever, it never turns out the way you think it will, does it? Look at that. Some interesting documents in the network logs. Seems this building was recently acquired by a shell company called Grantha Inc. Why is that interesting? Grantha Inc. is listed by now under the heading Fucking Hanging Bad Core That I'm Not Chuffed About, In it. I'm paraphrasing, slightly. Snap a photograph of the building so we have something to show now. Targets are in view. Done. Bags. Put that on the channel. See if it stirs that nope. Consider it done.
Dead sec. Any updates on the empty houses? We heard you were looking into Granta Incorporated. Yeah, that's right. From what I've found, Granta is owned by Samuel Toussaint, upper-class twat of the Caribbean. The corrupt Haitian politician? What's he been doing? Looting the National Treasury, for one. Problem is, nothing I've found directly links Toussaint to Granta. So, I don't know, keep an eye out for suspiciously unoccupied buildings. You might find a lead that way. Thanks. So we need to locate three more mansions around London, and we do have some clues. One is west of Warren Street Station, one is between Horsley Road and St James's Park Station, and one is south of West Westminster Abbey. And our first one is just here. Yeah, look, protesters. Could be a Tissot property. What have we got, Bagley? Yet another shell company. Blimey, this is like looking through a mermaid's lingerie drawer. Cheers, Bagley. Targets are in view. We then move on to our second okay. mansion. Another property, but another protest. Worth checking out. It could be another one of two saints.
I've retrieved another deed, and it belongs to another shell company. Targets are in view. And now, finally, to the third one. Look, a protest, and the building looks abandoned. Wonder if it's linked to Tucson. That caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting people to be here, let alone guards. So we need to keep our eye out just in case. I'm going in. This place isn't owned by Grantha, but rather a different, equally vague and sinister shell corporation in the British Virgin Islands. Thanks, Bikes. Targets are in view. Got it. I'm uploading the photo to our channel as well, so that Toussaint may see it. If he does, and we're lucky, he might come after us. Once he's in the open, he's ours. Nice thinking, Bagley. Actually, I just thought he might appreciate your composition. But you're right. Good plan. I have an update. I was able to find a similarity between all the shell companies that own the properties we've been photographing. And what's that, Bagley? They all list Samuel Toussaint as majority shareholder. That's the smoking gun. We've got him. All right, dead sec. I just read through your upload. 
It was mint, really. I have some goods for you lot as well. I'm listening. Two Saints got his eye on the presidency, so he's looking to up his global presence. He's coming to Buckingham Palace to meet with the Crown. If we can warn the Royals not to meet with this twat, it'll be a big win for Dead Second 404. Good thing we've got more than enough evidence to prove to Saint isn't fit to whiff royal farts. As you might imagine, the Royal Palace is about as secure as, well, a Royal Palace. But the network at Buckingham Palace Muse is marginally weaker. Try that. If we can hack the CTOS of Buckingham Palace Muse, I should be able to peep inside the stateroom where the meeting is to take place. Toussaint will have submitted his credentials in advance of the meeting. I can attach our evidence to the end of that file, and then we can watch him march confidently in and essentially announce himself a gigantic fuckhead. Not the most efficient approach, but definitely the funniest. Grand. I... Wait. You're John Crop. <gasps> <gasps> Upload complete. Now scarter or they'll kill you for sure. Now the diplomatic corps won't touch Toussaint with a ten-foot engraved ceremonial pole being held by somebody else. I made sure to leave a little explanatory note with Dead Sex logo so everyone knows who to thank. Fantastic. Good news. We took care of Toussaint. <laughs> Dead good. That's an international win on our hands. I'm sending all our evidence to a mate in Sirs. He's one of the good ones. Well done, everyone. And that is mission complete. That is the penultimate mission, aside from the assassin ones, that is now done. We've got one more mission to come next time for you, and then after that we'll look at the assassin missions themselves. But thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon for more Watch Dogs Legion.